gotta start again. I screwed up. Okay. <laughs> Doing a little reef and cracking here. What do you got there? I've got That's... pizza crust. Oh. And we're going to make campfire pizza. So I popped this open, but we had to rewind. And I've got my handy dandy kitchen scissors that have been washed that Grandma Blakeway gave me for my birthday. And just cut the pizza right in half because I'm going to make an Alfredo pizza and I'm going to make a um, regular pepperoni and cheese pizza. So we unroll the pizza dough. So it's got a funky shape to it this time, which is fine. So here's the pizza dough and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut it right there and put it just like that. I think I cut it the wrong way. And we're <laughs> gonna do the same with this one. Just unroll the pizza wherever this starting begins. There we go. The other day I had a problem with the aluminum foil. You noticed I did the aluminum foil before <laughs> we started filming. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it was a good one. So I'm actually gonna break the pizza dough in half right here. Lay it like that. Take the other part and lay it just like this. Remember, this is Campfire Pizza. Campfire Chef, Campfire Pizza. Okay, so now what we do is, here is, this is actually a really good salsa. And I just, because I can make a spaghetti dish when we're camping. Or it's a vodka wash. sauce. So I got this vodka Fun. marinade sauce. Um, some avocado oil. So we just take some of that. I put a little bit of oil on the bottom of the aluminum foil. So we've got that. And then Curtis took a bag of Alfredo, just a, a dry bag of Alfredo that you could actually take up camping, backpacking. It's just Alfredo mix in a bag. Alfredo mix with a little bit of water. And we just take this. What happened to the bag? <laughs> put it in the fire pit so I couldn't show anybody. Right. <laughs> well, not so I couldn't show anybody. <laughs> he put it in the fire pit before I wanted it put in the fire pit, but that's okay. And then we're going to take a fork here, spread the Alfredo sauce. It's the official spreading tool. Yes, the fork. official spreading tool of Campfire Chef. Um, so we've got that done. Here's the chicken. And uh, actually, I'm just gonna pull it apart with my fingers. So we put the chicken on like this. And now Craig really likes cheese, so I'm gonna stop right there for a minute. I've had my hands in the chicken, so I'm not gonna put my hands in the cheese. What? Why are you making pizza for Craig? Because <laughs> I do, I love him and he loves my food. Oh. So. That was not a question. Well, Mom, I love you. And why <laughs> Why isn't it my pizza? Come, <laughs> Craig's pizza. <laughs> so freaking special. I just do, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Whatever, Mom. Lots of chicken on it's that okay. pizza. It's okay. It's um, okay. Curtis, I love you too. This it's is a It's not Curtis okay. Pizza. It's okay. And there's our peppers. So we have peppers and... Curtis calls them fancy peppers. Those are fancy. I put my hands in the chicken, so I'm going to actually take these. Yeah, that'll be good. Right on the side. I chop and put things in baggies like this a lot when I go camping. Oh it's yeah, you you were gonna work. bring that up earlier, and we didn't uh, quite display that uh, no. the way you wanted to. That's okay. So everything you got on the plates, so usually you bag everything up in uh, just Ziploc bags and throw it in the cooler for yes. situations like yep. this. And then I just roll it over to the side of the uh, camping table and it makes it easy makes for food really, preparation. Really so there's pepperoni, there's olives, and we're using a lot of tin foil too. That seems to be awfully handy. Mm -hmm. I'm doing tin foil today just because I want people to know that they don't have to have cast iron. And I had a gentleman, Jonathan, really nice guy. Uh, he's on Million Cup 
Uh, it's a program that helps you uh, focus and create things for your company, small companies. It's uh, supported by the Kaufman Foundation, I think. Anyways, Jonathan says he does a lot of backpacking, and he was asking me to come up with things that he could put in his backpack. Oh. That's one of the reasons okay. why I came up with a few of these things today. Here's our onions for our chicken, and here's our little bit of extra onions for the pizza, that one. A um, little bit of cheese on this one, and I'm not going to say why because Curtis's feelings will get hurt. Well, I like extra cheese, so you should oh. put extra cheese on there. Now, my guys like pepper jack cheese. So a lot of times I use pepper jack. Pepper jack is actually a mix of peppers chopped up in mozzarella cheese. Um, so says the cheesemonger. I like right? Colby jack cheese. Colby back jack cheese. Colby jack. Cheese. Yeah, I, I like yeah. that one. So you can pick what cheese you want. So that's how we did our pizzas. Am I picking on you, Mom? <laughs> Not good enough. <laughs> Um, I really like this garlic cheese sprinkle. So this is going to give a little bit of a garlic flavor. And it's got cheese in it. Again, gourmet. Garlic gourmet. Mm -hmm. And it's in Ariel, Washington. Uh, Zach's family owns it. We're done. Now mom's going to fold up the pizza. Like this. And just fold the corners so it makes a tent. Take this one. Just, well, that needs a little bit more cheese, don't you think? Maybe. Yeah, just. You so. are the professional here. <laughs> yeah. A little bit more cheese. There we go. Okay. Bake it and fold the corners. I don't know if you've ever heard of parchment paper in the heart shape. You can also do that. Um, the heart shape creates a pocket. It's kind of hard with aluminum foil camping. So I'm going to put this one out over here right now. Whoops. I'll go this way. Put this over the fire pit. It's just kind of a nice glow of coals. Uh, and you can keep the camera on that one if you want. Come over with this one. See how I've got just a nice little dome? You can also do these in aluminum pans, but this works really good. Just set it down like that. Let them cook. Um, so now we already made some. You ready to take a look? We'll see if we're the chefs or not. There we go, that, Curtis. That did come out good. Voila. And first time checking out our pizza. A new experience. Let's see how we look. Little, little toasty. Not bad though. Not bad. Not bad. That side's nice. I like it. I'm hungry. Mm. Very, very beautiful. Well, let's cut them and see how they, how they taste. 